Hello and welcome to Edu Sathi's lecture on mathematical operations. Now this is a very easy topic and the only thing you need to solve questions on mathematical operations is you need to have a good concentration level. There is no logic and nothing else. The only thing you need is a good concentration level. Let's begin. Uh, mathematical operations is a process of substituting, solving and comparing equations. In this type of questions, the four basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and also statements such as less than, greater than, equal to, not equal to etc. are represented by symbols. And then you have to solve the given equation. The types of problems, there are three types by substituting, by interchanging and by comparing. We will take the first type first that is substitution. Type 1 substituting. In this kind of problems, you are given a statement such as if plus means divided by, minus means multiplied by, this cross sign means minus, and divided means plus, which of the following will be the value of the operation? So, how do you need to solve these questions? Never read this line first. Straight away go to the equation which is given and then keep on substituting values here. So I have 16 divided by 8 but here the divided by sign means a plus so I will just replace this divided sign by a plus here. Then the minus sign I will see what the minus sign says in the question. The minus sign means a multiplication sign so I will replace this minus sign with a multiplication sign here. The plus sign means a divided by sign so I erase this plus sign and I make a divided by sign here and the multiplication sign means minus so this is not multiplication this is minus so now I have 16 plus 8 into 4 divided by 2 and minus 4 now you'll apply the normal board mass rule here there is no bracket then I have the divided by sign here so this gives me if I solve these two I have 16 plus 8 multiplied by 2 minus 4 then after division I have multiplication so 8 into 2 is 16 so this again gives me 16 plus 16 minus 4 which is nothing but 32 minus 4 or my answer is 28 so let's look at the second question here I will not read the question I will go by these equations and then keep on substituting I have 3 plus 2 so this is 3 instead of plus it, it is the divided by sign so I have 3 divided by 2 then the greater sign donates greater than sign denotes a plus so I have plus 4 the equal to sign denotes less than so I have less than here and I have 9 the plus sign denotes a divided by sign again so divided by 3 and the less than sign denotes a minus so 3 minus 2 so I have to see if this equation holds good. So 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 plus 4. This Is this less than 9 divided by 3 which is 3 minus 2? I have 5.5 less than 1. So this is not true. I go to the second equation here. I have 3 greater than 2. So 3 plus 2 plus 4 the equal to sign denotes a less than then I have 18 the plus sign denotes a divided by sign divided by 3 and the less than sign denotes a minus sign so minus 1 so I have 3 plus 2 5 plus 4 9 is 9 less than 6 minus 1 which is 5 no so this equation is also incorrect I move to the third part I have 3 greater than 2 so I have 3 plus 2 minus 4 the multiply sign shows a see here the x sign shows a greater than sign so I have a greater than 8 the plus sign shows a divided by sign divided by 4 the less, sign, less than sign shows a minus 
so I have 3 plus 2 5 minus 4 which is 1 is it greater than 2 minus 2 0 8 divided by 4 is 2 minus 2 is 0 yes this equation is good so I mark C as the right option so the only thing you require is it's a little tedious but don't waste 30 45 watt seconds reading the question here you know that it's going to be on substitution so go by the answer options and simply look up the values which you need for example I need a less than sign here so look up what is less than sign mean it means a minus because in any case you will not be able to remember even if you read the question so let's look at the second type here the second type is interchanging if the given signs plus and divided by are interchanged and also the numbers 2 and 4 are interchanged which of the following four equations would be correct so all you need to do is reframe the equations I'll interchange 4 and 2 and also these signs so what is the new equation it is 4 divided by 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 this gives me 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 which is incorrect I move to the second equation I have 2 divided by 4 plus 6 is equal to 1.5 this gives me 1.5 according to the board mass rule remember this rule this is how you are going to solve the board mass rule 1.5 plus 6 is equal to 1.5 this is again incorrect I check the third option here I have 2 plus 4 divided by 3 is equal to 4 so this gives me 2 plus 4 by 3 is equal to 4 again this is incorrect I check the last option I have 4 divided by 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 this gives me 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 or in other words 8 is equal to 8 so this is my right option here again there is no logic as such all you need to do is have focus while solving the question so let's look at this third type of questions here in this type of questions of comparing you are generally given some symbols and these symbols have a meaning for example lambda here has a meaning p lambda q that p is not less than or greater than q p delta q means p is not less than nor equal to q so from these symbols you have to draw some conclusions and the conclusions are of the form if only conclusion 1 follows if only conclusion 2 follows if either conclusion 1 or conclusion 2 follows if neither of them follow and if both of them follow so in this type of questions also you will start reading the statement first and then you will go back to decipher the symbols so let's begin I have K and this then the symbol A so this means that K is not less than A is not less than A so this means that K is definitely greater than or equal to A since it's not less than A the second symbol here A delta R this means that A is not less than or equal to R so this definitely means that A is strictly greater than R because I have a equal to sign here and it is not equal to then I have R delta S and this means that R is not less than S and also R is not greater than S so this implies that R is equal to S now let's look at the conclusions K delta S means that k is not less than or equal to s or in other words k is strictly greater than s let us see can we draw this conclusion from here i have k greater than equal to a which is strictly greater than equal to r and which is equal to s so i instead of r i can straight away write s here now since this strictly greater than condition holds here it definitely means that k is also strictly greater than s so conclusion one is okay let's solve the second conclusion I have k lambda s this means that k is not equal to s and also k is not greater than s so this means k is equal to s but we've already found this conclusion that k is strictly greater than s so conclusion 2 does not hold so what is my correct answer here the a option let's try another question I have k then the symbol a so it means k is not less than a 
or in other words k is strictly greater than equal to a then i have a lambda r this means that a is not less than r a is also not greater than r so this means that a is equal to r then i have r and then the symbol s we already know from this first equation what does this imply that r is greater than or equal to s let's look at the first conclusion here k delta s this means that k is not less than or equal to s so k is not less than or equal to s or in other words k is strictly greater than s and the second conclusion this means that k is not less than s also k is not greater than s so the second conclusion is k is equal to s now let's see from our conclusions which conclusion matches i have k greater than equal to a instead of a i can simply write r because a is equal to r and then r is greater than equal to s so from these i can say that k is either greater than or it is equal to s it can be broken down either k is greater than s or k is equal to s so either conclusion one follows or conclusion two follows both of them cannot together follow so the correct option is the c part here either conclusion one or conclusion two follow let's look at this third question here i have k ohm a the symbol is called ohm the engineers out there must be knowing so k ohm a means now this ohm symbol means p is not greater than nor equal to q so k is not greater than or equal to a it means that k is strictly less than a then a and the symbol r i have a is not less than q it means a not q r here a is greater than or equal to r and then i have r ohm s which straight away will imply r is less than s now let's see what conclusions we have here i have a which is greater than k then i have a again which is greater than or equal to r and then i have s which is also greater than r but i don't still know the relation between a and s let's look at the conclusions the first conclusion is between a and s only i have a is not less than or equal to s so not less than or equal to s so this means a is greater than s can we say so no because we just know that a is greater than equal to r and s is also greater than equal to r it is it might be possible that a is 100 r is 90 r is 90 here and s is 110 and s can also be equal to 91 just for an example so we cannot say for sure that a is greater than s let's look at the second conclusion here k ohm s this means that k is less than s again we don't know since the relation between a and s is unknown the relationship between k and s is also unknown so the answer here would be neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 follow see i don't have any relation between k and s which is known to me i just know that k is less than equal to a but the relation between a and s is not known so i cannot find relationship between k and s let's move on to the last question i have k this plus sign a which means that a is not greater than a so k is definitely less than or equal to a this is my first conclusion a ohm r which means that a is not greater than or equal to r this means that a is less than r so i have a which is strictly less than r and the third conclusion r plus s this simply means that r is less than or equal to s so if i write this in a form of a line i have k less than or equal to a which is less than r which is less than or equal to s this is the simple statement which i have now let's check the conclusion one i have k ohm s this means that k is not greater than or equal to s so this means k is strictly less than s 
since I have one strictly less than sign here this condition is true k strictly less than s because k is less than equal to a which is strictly less than r so I have one strictly less than sign here so this conclusion is true then I have s and then delta a what does delta mean that p is not less than nor equal to q so this means s is strictly greater than a since s is greater than equal to r and r in turn is strictly greater than a so I can write here replace it by s even if r was equal to s then s would be strictly greater than a so I will have s strictly greater than a and this is a right conclusion so what is my answer option here both conclusion 1 and 2 follow mind you c is not the answer there is no or condition both will follow irrespective that is all on mathematical operations i hope you enjoyed the lecture thank you